Well, I think one of the interesting things about the women's movement is that one finds uh, here is a social movement that is dominated by the middle and older aged people. Uh, it's primarily a product of life experience. And is this, it is these uh, older people who are giving the push. The young, uh, younger generation is aware and watching, sometimes involved, but the fact that they have not lived uh, the roles uh, that are under discussion means that uh, they do, cannot play the very activist role that the, uh, that the older, older women do play. Does this have any bearing on the kind of training they want, say, uh, the traditional liberal arts training versus uh, more emphasis on professional training? I think all of the present generation is very conscious of the relationship of the job market to education, male and female. And the, the most frightening thing that's going on on campus in my own mind is that all of the younger generation has one eye looking out for what's going on and what is, how will their courses, uh, what will the payoff for their courses be in the long run. Um, I think this has frequently worked to the detriment of the younger generation because what we need for long-run policy makers and people who have a breadth of understanding of how how problems may be answered, different ways of approaching problems, a, a breadth of knowledge of past experience in the world, and you don't get this in very narrow professional courses that may have immediate payoff. What you need for policy decision makers is the kind of breadth which traditionally in this country was given through the liberal arts. And I'm very worried that educational institutions and the younger generation may in their urgency to get education that has immediate applicability, narrow their range and focus, and therefore really their options and, and versatility 